Hello, and welcome to Fulco Library Presents The Library Access. I'm your host, Rachel Sanders. May was quite a busy month for Fulton County Library System. Atlanta Fulton Public Library Foundation and PNC Bank sponsored our very first Children's Book Festival. It was an amazing event that pulled together community sponsors and authors of children's books to showcase the importance of childhood literacy. Let's check that out. everyone. We're so excited to be here today at the Central Library in downtown Atlanta. I am here with Chairman Rob Pitts. He is the chairman of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners. We're just excited. It's a wonderful day. Please come down if you can. And we appreciate so much the Library Foundation Board for its sponsorship of this wonderful day of events for children. Yeah, I too am very, very excited about being here. It's early on a Saturday morning, but nothing could be more important in Fulton County than our library system and getting our young people, that's young on up through, uh, you know, adolescents in here to our library, particularly here in downtown. This is a very, what I consider to be innovative program that, uh, that Ms. Holloman and her pe people have put together. And I wanna just thank the Library uh, Foundation for their support of this and the primary sponsor, PNC Bank, for making this possible. This is going to be a very exciting day on I mean, all floors of the new library. And for those who haven't seen it, this is a spectacular uh, new facility in Fulton County that I'm really, really very proud of. Thank you so much to Chairman Rob Pitts for this. I'm Lori Kilberg. I am the chair of the Atlanta Fulton Public Library Foundation. And I'd like to join Commissioner Pitts and the Library Executive Director, Gail Holloman, in extending my warmest welcome to you all, and especially to one very important person in the audience, my granddaughter, Devin Kilberg. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tara Birdsong, and I'm the featured flutist here today at the Children's Book Festival. We have all kind of festivities going on where we have facial painting, we have storytelling, and behind me you have the Urban Youth Ensemble performing an assortment of pieces for the children to enjoy. To my left we have a ballerina posing with the children and dancing with them, and children from all walks of life are enjoying the festivities. To my right, we have the Imagination Playground where children are playing on obstacle courses and also able to get some treats, looks like, and some puzzles. And of course, they're able to check out an assortment of books. Later, I'll be performing an assortment of pieces and familiar tunes for the children. Hope you enjoy. I am Mindy Benjamin, the Executive Director of GEARS, the Georgia Early Education Alliance for Ready Students. We are so thrilled to be the convener of the Mayor's Summer Reading Club that's now in its 10th year here in the city of Atlanta. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning everybody. Good morning. Well, thank you, Wendy, for that introduction and all that you guys do here. I'm so excited to be in Atlanta's Central Library. Isn't this a wonderful library, y'all? As a, as a teen, I came here a lot uh, to do a lot of my projects. And I, I went to Atlanta Public Schools growing up, and I would come into this library to, to learn things, to prepare, to do research, and then also when I was at Georgia Tech, uh, I would come to this library from time to time and at Georgia State. So I'm so glad that this library has done a lot of renovation, and look at us now. This is outstanding. Well, this is the 10th year of the Mayor's Summer Reading Program, and I'm excited. 10 years of doing this. All right, hi, I'm Andre Dickens, Mayor of Atlanta, and I'm here today kicking off the 10th anniversary of the Mayor's Summer Reading Program. And we just read books, I'll Build a Bookcase, and now Atlanta, my home. This is the year, our 10th year, we're gonna be giving away our, our 100,000th book. And so this is exciting time for kids to learn to read, but also get the appetite and desire to read and share with others. It is a pleasure to be here at the Children's Book Festival at our Central Library, newly renovated and beautiful. 
come out and see it. And today I'm going to be reading to the children this wonderful book called Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. And I'm looking forward to hearing their cheers and seeing their smiles and their excitement over this book and over being here at this wonderfully renovated library. Please come out and visit us. Hi, I'm Carmen Agraditi and I write books for little rotten stinky kids. Yeah. And today I am at the Fulton County Library at the main branch for the Children's Book Festival. Oh, if you didn't come this year, make plans for next year. Wonderful authors. The opera was here. The children, the community has been fantastic. So, save the date. Next year, same time. I'm Dr. Molly O'Rourke. I'm the artistic director for the Urban Youth Harp Ensemble, which we have several members of to my left. They were in ninth grade and 11th grade. And we're going to be performing today several selections on the Concert Grand Pedal Harp, uh, classical and pop and a little bit of everything. My name is Malcolm Mitchell, author and Super Bowl champion. And I'm here at the library today to read one of my picture books titled My Very Favorite Book in the Whole Wide World. I'll also be sharing some personal stories, and if there's enough time, doing a book signing. Good afternoon. We're here today at the Central Library celebrating our first annual Children's Book Festival. Hello. We are the cast of the Pirates of Penzance here with the Atlanta Opera today. Uh, super excited for the remodel of the beautiful Fulton County Library. Yeah, and um, this show uh, is one of Gilbert and Sullivan's uh, most popular uh, shows. It's um, it's frequently performed, especially uh, today. It usually runs about uh, three hours, but we've condensed it to about 45 minutes. Uh, we take this uh, to schools all over Atlanta, um, and it's a, been a really fun tour so far. Yeah, this is about our 72nd or 73rd-ish performance, and we are really excited. Uh, it's a cute little fun show uh, for little children, and we're excited to show it. Hi, my name is Barry Stewart-Mann. I'm a storyteller, and I'm at the 2022 Fulton County Library's Children's Book Festival. And I'm here on the fourth floor of the library, this beautiful new library, and I'm very excited for, in just a moment, I'm going to be telling some stories. Now, because it's the Children's Book Festival, I'm going to tell stories that come from all different kinds of books, so it'll involve a folk tale, a fairy tale, some poetry, some song, and even a non-fiction book, because uh, non-fiction books have great stories as well. I have lots of props and puppets and I'm going to get uh, some of our listeners involved as well in my stories. So it's just a pleasure to be here at the 2022 uh, Children's Book Festival of Fulton County Libraries. Right, I'm Cheryl Small, Central Library Administrator, and today we're here celebrating the Children's Book Festival, our inaugural Children's Book Festival. We are continuing it every year, and we've had some wonderful guests today. We've had our mayor, City of Atlanta Mayor, Mayor Dinkins, we've had the Fulton County Commission Chair, Rob Pitts, and many others, including our Commissioner, Natalie Hall. We are also having quite a few activities for the children's storytelling. We've had the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. Uh, just wonderful, a wonderful time for our youth in the city of Atlanta. Again, this is today is all about libraries, all about reading, all about learning, all about lifelong learning. And so we're just excited and elated to have this Children's Book Festival sponsored by our Library Foundation and the many sponsors in connection with the Library Foundation. Again, welcome to the Children's Book Festival at the Central Library. Thank you. Well, hello again. We're winding down the 2022 Children's Book Festival here at the Central Library. It is a system-wide event sponsored by our Atlanta Fulton Public Library Foundation Board and their partner sponsors, main partner sponsor being PNC Bank. Thank you all so very much for your attendance, for signing up ahead of time, for being here, for having fun. It's just been a wonderful event. Whenever you have time, please do come down and see the new Central Library. It is revitalized, it's beautiful, it's light and bright, and there are so many informational items here for you to use, for you to check out, and for you to just visit. So thank you so very much for all that you do on behalf of the library system and for everything that you do for children. Welcome back to Focal Library Presents, the Library Access. At 
Focal Library, it is important for us to celebrate and bring awareness to all cultures and heritages, and that includes Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. AAPI Heritage Month is celebrated in the United States during the month of May to recognize the contributions and influences of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Americans and their history, culture, and achievements. You can stop by any branch and check out AAPI specific artwork and books to place on hold. As we learn more about Asian American Pacific Islander heritage, we stopped by the East Roswell branch as Miss June hosted an adult program called Floral Arranging, a cabana class for beginners. My name is uh, Ms. Mishima. I've been learning Ikebana for 15 years uh, this year. I started in Ikebana in New York 2000, in 2007. I have a teacher's uh, um, certificate of Ikebana, uh, Sogetsu Ikebana School. This class is Sogetsu School's 101 uh, arrangement class. The first page of the Sogetsu School's book number one. I'd like to enjoy Ikebana's beauty to our patrons and feel the beautiful spring season. Friends of East Roswell Library and I will prepare all materials, including tools. Patrons enjoy Ikebana here and after the class, patrons bring all the flowers home to create their own Ikebana at home. I will explain uh, what Ikebana is and which part is the different difference of Western style arrangement. Ikebana is an ancient art of Japanese flower arranging. This originated in the 15th century. Ikebana, sta uh, Ikebana style looks much simpler than Western style arrangement. However, simpler is not easy. Thinking about the negative space, positive space is more effective like our life. Ikebana usually uses only two, three, only two, three materials. I use the spring mums today and the branches here from our East Roswell backyard, the East Roswell Park. We enjoy the season and nature through Ikebana. So every single person has a different beauty point. So Ikebana's beauty has never competed with anybody. So everyone, let's enjoy the season through Ikebana. May is also Mental Health Awareness Month. And while Fulton County as a whole offers many resources, the library offers a variety of educational tools such as books and classes on mental meditation and yoga. Hi, I'm Kathy. Uh, we just finished a yoga class here at East Roswell Library. Yoga is good for mental health. It, is an opportunity to take some time out to focus on yourself, to relax your mind. And when we link the breath to movement, that uh, brings a special kind of relaxation. So I became a yoga instructor after practicing yoga myself for, for many years. And really I went into teacher training thinking I just wanted to deepen my practice. But by the end of teacher training, I decided to go ahead and teach. And some of my first classes that I taught were at libraries around town. Um, and then I've taught at yoga studios and uh, gyms around town. And I teach for the city of Roswell as well as here at East Roswell Park. I mean, East Roswell Library. <laughs> So, um, I stay pretty busy with teaching. I think I have around 10 classes a week right now that I'm teaching. And it's just a lot of fun to bring yoga to 
every level of yogi, beginner through advanced, um, and just to help people relax. It's so rewarding when everyone's laying in Shavasana at the end of class. Join us here at East Roswell Library for yoga on Mondays at 11 and Thursdays at 11. Bring your mat. Doesn't matter how much experience or how little experience you have with yoga, we work with all levels and we'd love to have you. Namaste. An additional resource for Mental Health Awareness Month. Make sure to download our latest episode of Checking Out Focal Library's podcast as we conduct an interview regarding mental health awareness with Fulton County Behavioral Health Program Manager Erica Williams Walker. You could check out that interview by visiting us at focallibrary.org slash checking out focal library podcast. Stay right here. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Focal Library Presents the Library Access. All right, it's that time of year. Schools are closed, the weather is hot, the pools are open, and summer reading has officially kicked off. Let's check out what Focal Library's summer reading program has in store for you. Summer is the best. There's so many great things to dive into. And if you're looking for something to do, besides just laying around, then look no further, because there's an ocean of possibilities at your local library. Whether you like movies, games, music, books, or just hanging out with friends, the library has it all. Plus, so many amazing stories with mystery, adventure, friendship, and more. We've got online options as well as in person, so everyone can participate, however they feel comfortable. And in case you don't already know, we've got fun stuff for kids and adults. So swim on in, or crawl, and hang out with us this summer and explore the ocean of possibilities at your local library this summer. Hi, I'm Brianna and welcome to the Cricket Club. The Cricket Club is for anyone and everyone who wants to learn how to use a cricket. You can make all kinds of things with a cricket, such as signs, shirts, decals, and so much more. We are able to provide Cricut machines for patrons to use during this program, such as the Cricut Joy, Cricut Maker, and Cricut Explore. I'll teach you how to use Cricut Design Space to make your own custom designs and also to create projects that you can use anytime. I'll show you different tools and materials you can use with your Cricut machines, how to cut out your projects, and finish them off to completion. Please join us at the Alfreda Library this summer for the Cricut Club Series. For more information about the program, please visit FolcoLibrary.org and for registration. See you then! Hi everyone, my name is Marcia Dibak and I'm the Youth Services Coordinator for the Fulton County Library System. Today I want to share with you a quick recommendation um, and I'm recommending the book Fractured Tide by Leslie Lutz. Um, Fractured Tide is a young adult novel, so it is really for teens ages 14 or 15 and up. And this book um, features Sia, who's 17 years old. She and her mother run a dive boat, so they take tourists out for diving trips. And while they're out this time, they're out to dive a shipwreck. Um, things go horribly wrong while they're out there. Um, they end up stranded on a deserted island. Um, but meanwhile, while they're on this island, um, there's this weird sort of creature that is lurking off the coast of the island, and Sia is trying desperately to get them off the island. So think of it as a mixture of Lost and Stranger Things, because it's just very weird, um, but in a good way. Um, so if you like to... Um, be a little creeped out by what you're reading and if you enjoy um, books that take place out on the ocean uh, I think Fractured Tide is a good bet and I think you should read it. Um, it is available on Hoopla for download as an ebook or as an audiobook. Um, check it out today. 
When summertime rolls around, it brings a host of exciting activities for your child. But it can also mean up to a three-month loss of learning called the summer slide. Fortunately, you can help avoid that slide by setting family reading goals. And our library makes it fun and easy with Beanstack for summer reading. Just log on and set up a profile for each member of your family. We'll show you events specifically matched to your interests, like story times and tech workshops. Plus, you'll find our librarian special lists for kids, teens, and grown-ups on all kinds of subjects from history to zoo animals. All books can be borrowed through our library, both as hard copies and ebooks. And our online reading logs make it easy to keep track of exactly how much you or your child has read. Your family can even earn badges and special prizes for reading and participating in other summer reading activities. Beanstack can be accessed from anywhere, making it easy to keep track of summer reading on the go or back at home. And we'll send you a weekly email with the latest recommendations and events that are just right for your family. So sign up for free at your local library and get started today with Beanstack for Summer Reading. Beanstack is one of our many free digital resources available to you with your library card. You can sign up for summer reading by visiting fultoncounty.beanstack.org. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back to Folko Library Presents the Library Access. As we wrap up today's program, it's important that we learn something new about the month of June. June is African American Music Appreciation Month. It celebrates the musical influences and contributions of African-American musicians, composers, singers, and songwriters in American culture. Let's learn more. Thank you for joining our show segment. This segment is for the month of June in support of the National African-American Music Appreciation Month, presented by the College Park Library. What is African-American Music Appreciation Month? African American Music Appreciation Month is celebrated in June. It was initiated as Black Music by President Jimmy Carter in 1979. We are here to appreciate the contribution of African American musicians, composers, singers, and songwriters to American culture. Here are a few available books in the system that impact African American music on generations of performers and music lovers. Beneath the Underdog by Charles Mingus. This book is about a bass player extraordinaire named Charles Mingus, who died sadly in 1979. But he is one of the essential composers in the history of jazz. This is a great autobiography book that is available at our local library and is written by the jazz musician himself. Odetta, A Life in Music and Protest by Ian Zach. Odetta Holmes, known as Odetta, was an American singer, actress, guitarist, and a civil and human rights activist, often referred to as the voice of the civil rights movement. Her musical repertoire consisted largely of American folk music, blues, jazz, and spirituals. This is the first in-depth biography of the legendary singer, and this book is available at our local library. The Beautiful One by Prince. The brilliant coming of age and into superstardom story of one of the greatest artists of all time, in his own words, featuring never-before-seen photos, original scrapbooks, and lyric sheets. In this book, you see a full ideas and visions of Prince, his voice and image, and his underlining gift to the world. Lastly, but not least, Shout Sister Shout, the untold story of the rock and roll trailblazer, Sister Rosetta Tharp. This is a superb book about an amazing guitarist, singer, and performer. If you read this book, you will appreciate Rosetta's contribution to the early rock and roll pioneers. Shout, sister, shout. 
will have you dancing and shouting along to the little known story of the godmother of rock and roll. Once again, thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy the selected titles and look more in depth with these history icons. As stated before, these books are available at your local library. Please visit our website at www.focolibrary.org and subscribe to our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Take care. Thank you for joining me on Focal Library Presents and Library Access. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Focal Library. And visit us at focallibrary.org. I'm your host, Rachel Sanders, and I'll see you next time.